Welcome back. So, using Palace would be absolutely no fun if all we could do is come to one place. So, let's talk about moving around in Palace a little bit. I can use the arrow to point myself to different places on the screen. Or, you can see down here in this text area, and it's kind of difficult to see in this design, but you can see how right now there's a blinking cursor. If I hit the tab key, the blinking cursor goes away. When that happens, I can use the arrow up key, the arrow down key, the arrow to the left, and the arrow to the right to move around. And that's how we move around in Palace to find the spot that we want. I can make a quick jump like this by clicking pointing to where I want to land and the center of my ab will be where I land <clears throat> right at the arrow point or back this way now this only shows the one area that where I landed now I can also look at doors you see these doors right here right here is the show doors this one will highlight for you this is a door you see the little white area that's a door will take me to the gate this door will take me to another room this door right here will take me to the rules so if I click on the door you see how it changes to the little pointy finger if I click on that door I move to the new room and you can see the doors highlighted right in here these are the different rooms within the home now, of course I'm moving around in places where there are no people uh, that will come at a later place where we talk about how we interact with each other now if I want to go back to the room I came from I go right here to this arrow on the toolbar remember how to turn on the toolbar it was right in here in view toolbar so if you don't have it make sure you go to view hit toolbar the toolbar will turn on so that you have it and this is go back to the room I came from so now I'm back to the room that I came from so that's how you move around in palace next we'll talk about how we talk and how we write and how the information shows up on the screen uh, see you then